So you guys, we found Chance. He was actually with a guy on Sunday. The guy found him around a park in our neighborhood and he found him like the day that he got lost. So I guess, you know, maybe he was at work or something and he couldn't like um, contact us, you know, probably just busy or whatever. And then um, he ended up seeing our post and they contacted us and he had him, you guys. So now, I hope we learned our lesson. I'm going to purchase hopefully a, G a GPS tracker and then just have him on a collar outside when, you know, for now until we get the things that we need for the house yeah. for chance because he's an awesome dog. Hey, you guys, relax. Anyways, we're about to go inside and just see how Rocky reacts to him once again because this time they've been apart for longer and that's like Rocky's rock. He loves chance so much, so. Let's go. Look, I had the water out here for him. Oh. Open the door for Casey. Where's Casey? Yeah. Oh, look at look at Rocky. Look at you. Look at Rocky. He's so happy. Oh. <laughs> He's hungry. Look at him, oh my gosh, he's so excited. Are you happy, Rocky? Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy with the chances here? You happy? Are you happy? Yes, you are. Oh, he's so excited. He's so hyped. He's like, Casey, Casey. Come on, let me take this off of you, okay? Chance is like, I'm home. So Des just got home. Des hasn't seen him in two days. He's kind of disappointed in him because he keeps hopping over, even though, you know, we have to keep our eye on him at all times. So it's his fault as well. But they love each other. So let's see them reunite now. <laughs> Is that my little babies? Is that my little babies? All right, so Desmond's here. I'm just gonna bring Chance in right now. Look at his face. Des, look over here. <laughs> Where you been? Where you been? How you leave us like that? Huh? Huh? I didn't know where you were. I didn't know where you were. You were so hurt or anything. Hi. What you Oh. Did you learn your lesson? Desmond? Yes. You learned your lesson? You learned your lesson? Daddy! Oh, oh. oh goodness. Daddy! Oh, I just you two hours Daddy! <laughs> Yeah, we didn't know if he was hurt. We didn't know what was wrong. I don't know if he's really here. Yeah, look at his paw. I looked at it already. And then the his back paws, you know his back paw, he only has one white uh, nail. Chancy! Doesn't he look smaller though? Chancy! I feel like he looks... Say that, you... Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Desmond was like, well, I guess I guess he just doesn't like us. Maybe he doesn't want to be with us, he said. You got a girlfriend over there, son? No, walk you over. You want to start going to the dog park? But we can't even take it because he has so many fences. And that fence there is short. Hey, you have to be trained. We have to take you to a trainer. Yes, we do. Aww. Yes, he's teething. He's been biting everything, you guys. Give him a hug. He's like, gonna stop now. <laughs> hey, be careful, Chance! Oh, goodness gracious. He's like, what is that? I want to get on it. He's like, what is that? Bye. Bye. 
Is that what? I didn't either. I really didn't. I was like, God, this time feels different. I still want to get a puppy. Desmond, it's around there. No, 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 no! I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I was totally joking, honey. The first time, but then I was like, I scared him and I wasn't recording. Let me scare him again. <laughs> we have like those little lizards that come up from the outside and Desmond had the garage door wide open when Chance was lost and one of them is in here somewhere. So I pretended like it was by him. All right. Mama is always outside with her babies. Cough, cough. Ew, good job. Hey guys, so it is currently 11.13 p.m. I am currently the only person awake in this house. Desmond has been asleep since like seven. He's probably gonna get up like super early. I mean, earlier than he already wakes up. And then the dogs are sleeping. Oh, I'm so happy we got Chance back. We're definitely gonna get a GPS checker. Um, I mean, even though he's microchipped, but you know. Oh, I don't know if I explained to you what happened. Okay, so let me put you guys right here. And a lot of you guys were wondering why I make videos like this where I'm like bent down or if I'm like laying down on my side and it's because I feel comfortable this way. So um, I have been posting everywhere about Jans, updating them, telling them that I haven't found him. I have even gone to the shelters, like actually went to the shelter even though they told me that he wasn't there. I've been looking around our neighborhood, even neighborhoods that are like close to us because he's a runner and he's really fast. So I've been looking around everywhere, I couldn't find him. Then today, thank the Lord, some lady was like, I think she worked at the place or maybe she was just there, but she had seen my post. I saw your dog walk into the animal shelter today and look at my boobs. <laughs> and the second that I saw him, I had to message you and I went up to the guy that brought him in. Like he told me to give you his number or whatever. So she messaged me she was so freaking sweet and i ended up calling the guy and he told me he was just waiting for me at the shelter and that he could bring the dog to me but i was already out we were actually at the pediatrics clinic with corey and i was like i'm already out i'll just drive to you and then i ended up getting chance and he told me he actually found him on sunday at a park and that he was just roaming around the park and he was scaring people because he's so big, you know? But all he wanted to do was play, which sounded just like Chance. And um, I guess he was probably busy, and that's why he didn't like research to see if, you know, whose dog it was or whatever. But then today, I guess he had free time and he took the dog to the shelter because he's microchipped. Like, if nobody would have hit me up, they would have still called me because he's microchipped and he took him to the animal shelter, you know? So, I'm excited, but I think Desmond definitely learned his lesson this time like until we get what we need for a chance He is gonna be looking at him at all times. I told him I'm like are you sure you learned your lesson because uh, I hope you did because he was really sad like I was already looking at puppies not like to replace chance because I still honestly want a puppy I was looking at puppies and I was like if we don't find chance you better get me a puppy even though, like I said, I still kind of want a puppy. Maybe after the baby is born. But I've been seeing so many puppies like on the animal shelter websites. They're so cute. Anyways, so update on today. Today, I had to pick up Corey early. Get him out of school because he had an appointment. <sighs> but the annoying thing about it is that he is still underneath his mom's insurance. Even though she doesn't have him. And I think that she gets paid extra because of that but that's neither here or there he's under her insurance and then she just randomly does appointments without even asking us like hey are you guys like let me know what days you guys are free so i could set up an appointment for him blah blah, blah. like she just always wants to take control which is really annoying but um i was telling desmond and i've been telling him for a while but he's just been super busy i'm like yeah no uh she can't do that you have to put him under your insurance like asap so yeah, that's probably gonna happen soon. And the reason why we had an appointment today was because Corey has keloids in the back of his ears. Um, back when Corey was four, his mom, once again, did 
things without axing and I mean because you know she, at the end of the day she's like I'm his mom I do whatever the hell I want even though she's not with him but um <sighs> she got him some earrings when he was four earrings when he was four personally I don't think that's right especially if you don't ask the dad as well if the dad is like even more in his life than you are but whatever he got the earrings and then probably a year later his ears got infected and then ever since then his keloids have been growing so in 2016 his keloid was like probably like this big you guys it was a huge balls on both ears it was hurting him and at, the, at this time he was already living with us in Alaska and so in the summer he goes with his grandparents they set up an appointment for him to get them removed he got surgery they ended up telling us that if the keloids grow back it could be cancerous which is obviously extremely disappointing <sighs> because at the end of the day it's like you know we've gone through so much with this lady and you know even though you know Corey at the time or even now might not realize it but all of this is affecting him you know and like it was just one more thing that we're like why like you're just so negative in our life like this is just something else and now it's like it has to do with our son's health you know and so yeah they said that and then they said that if he gets surgery it'll probably continue to grow back every year for the rest of his life so it's been almost two years since he got his surgery and one of his ear one of his ears has a keloid it is almost the size of how it was before the size of a nickel and then the other ear just grew a tiny tiny bit not a lot which is great but it's still growing which sucks you know it's not as big as the other one but it's still growing so that was what the appointment was today they just checked it and then um, they didn't really do much they checked his breathing and stuff but as far as the ears go they, really, they didn't really do much they told us that they're just gonna schedule him to see a plastic surgeon in two weeks so uh, let's just hope that um when he gets surgery again it just doesn't grow back like i really hope it doesn't because in the car you know he was talking about his ears because he's like why why do i have to go to the doctor and i told him it was because of his ears so that it won't bother him anymore because he like you know he's a kid and he squeezes it and we told him not to do that and hopefully he listens but he told me he's like mommy um i hope that i don't have this for the rest of my life and ugh, i really hope he doesn't either like that'll freaking suck but yeah that's what we did today we went to the clinic for that and then after literally right after like when i was leaving the clinic with desmond and the kids i got a phone call i got the message and then i called the guy who had chance and i went to go pick up chance then we went to go get little caesars and then we all reunited again so we really thought that we were not gonna see him again like i was thinking trying to think positive but like it just felt different this time for some reason um but we are definitely going to invest in a lot of things because you know we love chance and he's an amazing dog he just hops over fences he's adventurous yeah we also need to put him in training as well him and um rocky rocky doesn't have that problem where he hops over fences but he still kind of has ptsd from whatever his previous owners put him through like his first owners because he's still a little skittish and there's just certain things that you know he needs to learn anyways and he's currently teething you guys know how that goes just biting everything anyways i'm gonna stop blabbing thank you guys so much for watching um is there anything else i need to tell you tomorrow which is today for you guys we are getting our master bedroom king size bed and bed frame bed everything and i cannot wait for you guys to see it what else um then friday we have something crazy happening something that i was not expecting and i'm so excited for you guys to see what that is and then yeah it's just gonna be an eventful week thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and i love you guys so much once again our p.o box is down below our baby registry and we will most likely be having our baby shower like april 21st like probably that weekend so thank you guys so much for rocking 
I'm so winded. I love you guys so much and you guys will see us tomorrow. Peace out. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead.